Hello guys, this time let's build a simple electric motor. The basic materials that we need are the following. Of course, we need a magnetic wire. A magnetic wire of AWG, the size. AWG pertains to the size. So this one is a thinner one. So I'll show you an example of about, about that size. I have here in the gauge. We have uh, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And this one is a thicker one. And this size is actually AWG20. So this is the smaller size measured by this tool. But this one is actually even smaller. So definitely this is around 30 to 40 AWG. As number come larger, the size of the magnetic wire gets smaller. Okay. You need a magnet. Of course, a strong magnet like this. It's very strong. A block of wood in order for you to mount your rotor. So this part here becomes the stator. And of course, you need also a paper clip in order for you to mount the axle. Okay, just like this, I'll show you. This one. So we need this paper clip in order for us to mount this one to let it rotate between the attractive magnetic field. So these are my use paper clip. So I just put it there. Just like this one here. And we also need an axle where to mount the coil or the winding coil so in this case i only use an empty pen so that it will not be difficult for you to find one okay so that's cool another thing we need to wind this just enough to the size of this one okay just enough to fit on this one so i choose this battery as my guide for the winding so what i will do next I will wrap this with paper that way and start the winding like this. Look. Be sure that you have this tip here free because this will become our commutator. So we'll start the winding that way. Now you have noticed that I wrapped the battery with the paper. This actually it will facilitate me to remove easier. Later on I need to remove that so it will be easy for me to remove the coil. You may ask about the length of this wire. It's around 4 meters. The longer the wire, the better. That's it. So we have here. And of course I will remove this one that way. So you see it's so easy to remove. Whenever it's not easy, you just tear it down and, of course, wait that way. Look, there you go. So now, we have the winding coil. This is now our winding coil. And we will going to tape this one that way so that it will be secured. That's it. So this part here turns into the commutator. And now we'll mount it on the axle that way put this in the middle it's better to use this one because it's plastic so it won't hurt your magnetic wire and this actually does not harm your magnetic wire to short circuit with each other so again we will tape this okay so in this case that way so that there will be a place for the brush to stay here in this particular area so the brush keep on touching the commutator so that the current can flow through this winding coil and to rotate freely within the external magnetic field. We will tape this again that way. We will just secure it. Of course, if you have a glue stick, you can also use a glue stick to mount this that way so that it will be secured. Okay, so this is just a demonstration depending on you on how to secure this one. Provided do not tie this with another wire. It will harm your coil or it will hurt your coil and eventually it will short circuit with each other. 
so it will affect the performance of your motor so we get this the coil is now mounted on an axle and it's ready now for mounting here on the stator to secure the commutator more steadily we need to wrap this with tape to make the size bigger so the brush will be in contact efficiently with the commutator here like this so make it bigger that way bigger okay bigger bigger that way then of course you can cut this that way that's it so this is now where we will place our commutator this is actually the commutator so in before putting that or securing this commutator here we need to scrape this part to ensure that this is clean and that the electricity can pass through okay the current can flow efficiently that way okay so we will secure this here we will secure this one here that way and the other side here is the other end of the commutator here on both sides so in this case I will fold this that way and fold it again so that the contact will be much efficient so that on this other side it's actually for because if you're only going to put it like this only one so the tendency if this is the brush it will only become contact when the position is like this but if it's like that it will lose contact you see that okay. so in this case I will put it that way so that this other side will be come contact with the brush at different angles that way so also fold this one here and fold again that way then tape this one that way now as you can see it is mounted properly so at any angle there should be contact with the brush so rotor is ready now so we will make the stator we will just place some mounting you know, to secure this in order for us to mount this rotor within the magnetic field that way between north and south and we will put the brush here in contact with this then connect it to a battery then we'll test so you can see here it's placed it in the middle that way so we'll use another one so that it will be secured that way so it will move okay you can really adjust somewhere here okay and we'll secure this again with a pin that way and of course this one that way so that it will be sturdy so that it can resist the vibration of the rotor when it rotates that way so this time we can just remove this and we will now try to put it there that way so see to it that it will not touch the base just like that not too high 
because our magnet is just on that side so definitely that way so that the magnetic field will be stronger on that part we're going to put it there the magnetic field so no, unless you also raise the magnet but it's too difficult because you need to put another mounting okay this one so we'll turn that like this okay that, that way okay and let's see so it does not fit to fix it okay okay cool and this one also just at the same height with this that it can fit okay, like that okay so that way see so it can really rotate okay that way now what we need to put now is the brush the brush is actually the one that contacts with this commutator to supply current to supply voltage in order for current to flow on this part to create a magnetic field and this magnetic field will keep on pushing each other against the external magnetic field thus it will rotate that's why an electric motor converts electrical energy to mechanical energy so in this case we will need another uh, this, uh, a thin magnetic wire so that it can just easily move that way not very hard then we scrape this part here this is actually for our brush yeah this one also and this part will be mounted here and that scrape part will touch that will touch the commutator so we'll clip this here with thumbtacks see to it that it touches freely that's it so we have now the end this is where to connect to the battery this now becomes the terminal so let's put the other one here secure it again with a thumbtack see to it that we will just uh, exactly touch the commutator on the scrape part so now that we have already this terminal here, we will secure this terminal just like this with, of course, a thumbtack. Look at my thumbtack, so old and rusty. These are just uh, reused thumbtacks here. Sorry for that. This is now the battery terminal. And of course, this motor is now ready to test it. So we will put the magnet of course for those who are using uh, circular magnet or this magnet you just have to find the north and south where this magnet is actually attracted to each other then let's put it that way just like this north and south so see to it that the winding coil is actually aligned with north and south that way and that rotor is actually freely moving so we will connect this here 
then the other connecting wire here that is actually connected to the brush directly touches the commutator look at that look at what we did we have three here so that at any angle it will always touch the commutator or it will always touch the brush that way then we'll use a 9 volt already super heavy duty battery you can also use this one but this is an old battery i don't think this will work anymore it's around three years ago Let's see oh still works it's still it works look at that oh sorry okay that way now if we reverse the polarity it will also move in an opposite direction look at that now you have noticed that it won't move sometimes so it means that it did not touch the other end so we will need to rotate this a little so that brush touches the commutator that way this is a 1.5 battery but old battery we're still working this one is also same as old as this three years ago pre-pandemic Okay, let's try. Pasti. Okay. That's it. So, we just created our motor. And this is your guide on how to do it. So that when you submit, it is actually okay, ready for testing. If you do not have your own magnet, then we can just test with our magnet here. So for those using a disc magnet like this, this is an electrical tape, but then it, the disc magnet looks like this. So you just have to find the north and south and place it there, that way. Okay, then it will work the same. Okay, so that's it. Let's reverse the polarity. It will also reverse the rotation simply because of the change in the direction of current in the wire current within the loop of the coil use this one that way we reverse the polarity okay let's help so it changes its direction of the rotation due to the change in the direction of current flowing through the coil Okay, see you again soon. Thanks for watching.